preview shows involving Van Wert County teams and also Mercer County teams. We start with the Parkway Panthers head coach Doug Hughes, second season back at the helm after a five-year hiatus. And well, what's it feel like? You know, last year a very young team. They know what you want. They kind of know your style. How's it feel second year around, second time around? Oh, it's been great. It's been great. I love these guys. I love working with the coaches. I love working with the kids. And it's just been a uh, it's been a tremendous getting back into it. And uh, this year has gone a lot smoother in the preseason. Uh, the kids kind of know what to expect. They know what's around the corner. Philosophies all pretty much stayed the same. And uh, we couldn't be happier with where we are going into the season right now. We'll talk about the youth in a moment, but let's talk about the leaders. you got three seniors that will really uh, be the leaders of this club. Yes, Andrew Baker, Justin Rice, and Logan Huff. Uh, of the three, Logan's uh, got the most experience, and uh, those three guys have done a, a real nice job uh, leading us, and uh, you know we're real happy with the leadership that they've shown, and they just continue to get better each day. You guys were so young last year, and you'll be kind of young again this year, but how much do those growing pains, how much will they help this year, you think? Oh, they'll help a tremendous amount, and I think that uh, you know, I saw Mason and, and Jack in, in the preseason in, in mid-October for one of the first times because they were golfers, and uh, they have definitely uh, grown up. That last year we took some uh, we took some lumps, especially when we had leads late in the game. A couple games stand out to me where we had leads late in the game, maybe three four minutes to go, and, and some teams changed some things they were doing defensively to us, and we struggled to uh, finish out games. Uh, we come back, we're definitely a, a stronger group. We've gotten in the weight room, we're much stronger. Uh, we're, we've got a year under our belt, so uh, now hopefully we're going to be able to close out those games. How have you felt about your four scrimmages so far? Uh, oh. What have you taken from them? Well, we've we've had to overcome a couple of injuries, Andrew Baker with a concussion and uh, Caleb Kinney with a fractured big toe. And so both of those players who we were counting on big time to start the season, uh, both uh, are now sidelined uh, with uh, injuries. And so uh, we've had to have some younger guys step up, but we've been uh, real uh, pleased with uh, the effort, the enthusiasm, uh, just a lot of different things that uh, we've done in the preseason uh, it, throughout our scrimmages, we've been very competitive, and the younger guys have stepped up, and, and, and we're starting to really gel as we uh, get ready for the season. Basketball is such a long season. Is that hard sometimes to get that across to the guys that this is a process getting from here to where you want to be in March? Yeah, exactly. And, uh, you know, we do a lot of different things throughout in planning our practices and planning the way we're going to go about doing things throughout the season because we tell them all the time it is. It's a marathon. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we need to, it's really a grind. It's like no other high school sport. Right. Uh, you know, if you're a really good high school basketball team, you're together for close to five months. And uh, so that, that's a long period of time. And, uh, you know, we're, we're getting ready to uh, go into that grind. And uh, every day our focus has got to be on getting better in practice and continuing uh, to uh, work hard. And it's a small group that spends a lot of time together. You're not talking about a football team where you got 30, 40, 50 guys. So those 12 to 20 guys, if you're counting JV. And you took a trip this summer that was kind of memorable, it sounds like. Yeah, we took a trip down to, uh, to Hoosier Gym where they filmed the movie Hoosiers. And we used that as an uh, end-of-the-summer uh, event. And we scrimmaged Houston down there. We rented the gym for uh, three hours. And we had a really good scrimmage at a really good time. The gym is identical to what you remember in the movie, and it was uh, it was just a, a real uh, real good time and a, a a time we could get away and uh, uh, spend some time together in a more relaxed uh, atmosphere. And so it was a good way for us to end our summer. What's this week like for you? Finally get into the tip-off against Waynesfield Goshen on Friday. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great about <laughs> this team. I really like coming to practice every day. They're a great group to work with. Couldn't ask for a, a better group of, of kids to work with. Uh, they're hard workers. They understand the process. They understand what we need to do in practice to get better each day. Uh, I always say, I always turn to uh, my assistants at the end, and, and some of those guys uh, have been with me for a long time. You know, uh, John Archer coached with me when uh, I was uh, uh, coach before. Uh, Drew Luganbill uh, and Zach Bates and Caleb Rodriguez all played for me when they were in high school, and now they're part of the coaching staff. And so I always turn to them when we finish up the preseason and say, boy, I'm just glad we get through it healthy. Well, I couldn't say <laughs> that this year. But uh, I, I thought we made great strides this preseason. Now we're, we're ready to go. 
What are you looking for opening night against Waynesfield? Obviously, you want to get a win. It's going to be on WOSN Saturday night. But what, what types of things do you want to see out of your team Friday? Well, we, we talk every day. We try to talk about three things. And, and the first of those is relentless effort. We outwork the opponent. Uh, every day in practice, that's our goal, is to, to work extremely hard. And then come uh, Friday and Saturday night, we want to – outwork the opponent with relentless effort. Second thing is uh, teamwork and uh, making sure that we're sharing the ball and that everyone's in it for the team. And then the third thing is uh, a great deal of enthusiasm, whether it be from the bench or from the players. We want to be excited. We want to be positive. We want to be having fun out there. We want smiles on our faces. And we want to uh, remain positive and be able to play through adversity. Of course, you play in the Midwest Athletic Conference. Just, just physical battles, night in and night out. You only have one MAC game this year, and then the rest start uh, in January. But how do you see the MAC this year? Oh, I think uh, Versailles and Marion Local are the, the two teams to beat. And I think there's a lot of other really good basketball teams. And I'd like to put our, ourselves right in the, that mix with those other uh, group of teams. Uh, I'm not saying that uh, we're going to, uh, you know, give the, the title to Versailles or Marion Local. But on paper right now in November, I'd say those are the two teams to beat. And then you guys have your Chad Insurance Tournament for both the boys and girls. What has that added to kind of the basketball programs at Parkway? Well, I think that when you go from 20 to 22 regular season games, it's real important to play a, a holiday tournament. I think it kind of helps you to split up the season. And, and there's nothing better, as far as I'm concerned, to play playing for a championship, uh, you know, midway through the season. And so uh, that's one of the goals. That's one of the things we talk about. Uh, when I came back into coaching is winning championships, and uh, we were very close last year. And uh, hopefully we can get over the hump this year and, and get the uh, – first uh, chat insurance tournament title in Parkway boys basketball history. Same teams as last year that are coming to that? Uh, no, we have Delaware Christian this year, okay. and we have uh, Graham, and uh, those two will square off in the opener, okay. and then we will uh, be facing Ridgemont in the uh, 8 o'clock game on the December 28th. All right, Coach Doug Hughes, good to have you back for a second season. Thanks for being here here at Frickers. All right, hey, thank you very much. All right, when we return, we'll talk to some of the players. We're at Frickers for preview shows on WSN. Welcome back to Frickers. We are getting ready for the basketball season. Tip-offs begin on Friday, including for the Parkway Panthers, they make the trip to Waynesfield Goshen. There are also at Botkins and at Crestview, three games to start the season on the road. To my left, I'm joined by Mason Baxter, second team All Mac last year, a junior guard, and Jack Wee at the end, uh, honorable mention, All MAC performer. Mason, let's start with you. How excited are you for your junior year? Uh, very excited. Very excited. What did you learn last year under Coach Hughes coming back? A very young team. What, what, what did you learn personally? Um, I mean, from last year, I mean, it was my second year. So, I mean, the first year, we didn't have the same coach. But last year, I feel like he definitely uh, led our team very well. And, uh, I mean, we were able to come up with some wins. So, yeah. we improved. Are you feeling different this year? Like, you guys understand his system, your experience, you know, two years of varsity already under your belt? I'm feeling better as a junior, for sure. What have you learned in the scrimmages so far? about your team, about your, your game this year? What areas have you improved personally? Uh, I mean, honestly, I've been trying to work on my drives, okay. like a lot more uh, taking it to the hoop and stuff. And uh, our main focus this year has been defense. Okay. And uh, yeah, just a lot, a lot more defense. I mean, defense wins championships, so. That's, that's what everybody says, yep. right? Yep. Jack, we down at the end. Uh, honorable mention, Mac performer last year. What did you learn as a sophomore, you know, getting used to this varsity game? Yeah, I learned that um, a lot of our work ethic comes from enthusiasm and everybody um, cheering each other on. And then um, we play together as a team. And if you do that, a lot of great things will happen. How much did your trip to the Hoosier Gymnasium kind of help bring team bonding together and that, you know, rooting for each other spirit? Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Um, it was a nice interesting thing that you do and like most other teams don't get to have that opportunity and so I really enjoyed it and it was just like like the movie exactly the gym was the exact same and yeah. it was awesome so you guys have watched Hoosiers the movie 
Yes. Yeah. Okay. I, I didn't know. It's been a while since it came out. That's yeah. True, that's true. <laughs> You're still big fans. Uh, just looking forward to Friday night. You know, what, what are you thinking? Just a couple days away here. Yeah. Um, coaches uh, scouted them, and he's got us information about all their players. And I think we're prepared and working a lot. We're working hard in practice, knowing um, we can feel Goshen and what we need to do offensively and defensively. All right. Well, enjoy some food here at Frickers. The first pregame meal. I'm sure you'll have lots of team meals throughout the year. But thanks for being here, guys. Yep. Thank, Thank you. you. A couple of juniors from Parkway here at Frickers. We'll talk to a couple more guys next here on WSN. Final quarter here at Frickers with the Parkway Boys basketball team. We'll also talk with Crestview, Lincoln View, and Van Wert here coming up tonight on these preview shows. And I'm joined by senior Logan Huff in the middle and Nick Hawk, the sophomore, down at the end. Logan, let's start with you. Senior season, can you believe it? Um, no, these last uh, three years so far has just flown by, and it's just it doesn't even feel real to be in my last season right now. So. As you guys talked about team goals and as you've been thinking about personal goals, what comes to mind for this season? Well, the team goal, I mean, is always to win some games, but I guess just to outwork everybody, like they mentioned before, just if we outwork people, the wins are just going to come naturally. But personal goals, I guess my personal goals are also just to win championships. Those are good goals to have. Sophomore Nick Hawk down at the end. You had you and your, a few other freshmen last year that saw some good minutes. What did you guys learn as, as a group last year? Well, it was a lot different coming from junior high <laughs> up to varsity. Yeah. Well, we learned a lot of you got to work as a team. It was, a, it was a growing process, I bet. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, playing in the MAC, I mean, <laughs> it's a growing process as well. How excited are you guys for those league games this year? Really excited. What, who's the big rival for Parkway as far as the MAC goes? Is there someone that sticks out or just whoever you're playing that night? Um, I guess we don't really have, I can't think of like a major rival that comes to mind. I guess just whoever we're playing against is our rival that night. It's a good way but, to look at it. Yeah. Uh, Coach Hughes talked about just being very excited to be back with you guys, gone for five years. Have you seen just the, the excitement from him and, and the staff, some guys that know him well that played with him? Yeah, from like my freshman and sophomore year to last season and now this season, just the whole excitement level is just the bar has been raised a lot. Like, it's just an expectation to be excited about practice every day. Like, it just some days it sucks, like getting out of school. But everybody, <laughs> everybody comes in and th they get excited about basketball. So, it's what's nice to see? What's been a highlight for your preseason? Uh, can, does one stick out? <laughs> you got something, don't you? <laughs> I can't think of like one highlight. I guess like. Just one highlight that comes to mind is our last scrimmage. Um, Preston Sober, he's a junior guard. He got a steal and went up for a layup, and he just laid it in instead of like going for a dunk. And just Coach Hughes going, next time, next time, like you need to dunk it next time. He just, could throw it down. Um, yeah, I've seen it a few times, but a few times. Okay. <laughs> Who's the biggest eater on the team? Who's going to get the most wings at Frickers today? Logan. <laughs> no. You think I'm, him? I'm getting a burger. There you go. <laughs> All right, well, thanks, guys. Good luck this season. Again, we'll have that game against Waynesfield Goshen on WSN. It'll air Saturday night uh, at night. Thanks to Parkway for being our first guest here in the Frickers Show. Lots of basketball coming your way the next four months here in WSN.